Venison neck meat is one of the most overlooked cuts on a deer. Usually you're battling through trying to get rid of all that silver skin or it's just simply thrown into the burger for grind. But I'm gonna show you today what to do with this cut of meat to get the most out of it. We're gonna slow cook it. What we have here on this remaining deer carcass is just the rib and the neck meat. Everything else has already been taken off and I'm gonna show you how easy it is to fillet the neck meat off of the bone. So I'm just cutting till I reach that backbone, going right alongside, not really worrying about separating anything out. Coming up around, again until I hit bone, and now I'm just gonna go down as far as I can with that knife. We're just gonna follow that bone right up the, right up the spine here with the knife. All right, and then we can just lift back up underneath, make sure we're as close to the bone as possible. Coming back around, you can feel it loosening up. That's as simple as that, just like filleting a fish. The key is just sticking right close to that bone, getting as much meat as you can. Now this is ready to season, sear, and put in the crock pot. extra layer of flavor when it's going to be slow cooked. You want to make sure and get both sides of the neck and the edges. This neck is ready for the slow cooker. There are no liquids needed as once it starts cooking it's going to release and cook in its own juices. Once the neck meat has cooled or refrigerated overnight, simply pull it apart, discarding any unwanted fat or sinuous tissues. This process is so simple and the meat pulls apart so easily. Now it can be used as is or put into tacos, burritos, shepherd's pie, or a simple meat gravy. And it's that easy. Neck meat is delicious and I promise you're gonna like it too.